Okay, uh, so I'm trying to create ano eh, yung module. Pero so na yun sa MATLAB. Hmm. Ayan. Template Vending Analysis Using MATLAB. Okay. Ayan. So, what you will need here, uh, uh, first, uh, I'll show you that the coding is generally the same than sa SMAT that we did before. Okay. So, here, uh, for example, in this, in this problem, I think we solved this also last time, except my hole. Yeah. My hole time ni guy. And this kind of problem is definitely hindi na kaya yan ng, ano, no? ng mga Euler Bernoulli beam na concept. No? Kasi uh, this is where FEM will surely come. No? Because by modeling uh, or discretizing the the structure no? with the uh, finer meshes no finer uh, smaller mesh size no to uh, to to ano no to estimate the behavior okay so like in last time no the buo yan no last time and uh, we were able to to verify the the accuracy of the result using uh, euler bernoulli beam concept okay here, may hole na tayo. So, I think uh, this is also the stud file of that. Okay. Then, let, let us uh, no, let us review first the, the loading. Yeah. You have 6.25 uh, interior nodes. That's the load. And then, 3.125. So, how many are that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it was my calculator. So seven times six point twenty-five. And seven times six point twenty-five. Forty-three point seventy-five. Plus two times this three point one two five. Oh, only you I think 50 kilo newton yan. Magiging 50 kilo newton yan. Okay. Na ano ko, na double press ko yun. Okay. Also, how many elements do we have? So, let's check geometry. And then, for the nodes, we have 285 nodes. Okay, 185 nodes for the elements, plate layout, okay, uh, elements, 232, 232. So you have elements, so number of elements is 232. Okay, and then the nodes, you have Ito yung ginawa natin na paraan. So, let's uh, redraw that here. So, let's see. Mayroon tayong 4 meters. Just 1 meter. Okay. And this is fixed support. You have... Uh, 
Dipin na lang natin, no? Pin support, for example. Okay. This is meters. One meter. Okay. Then you have holes here. By children of hole now. Wala ko na yung distance. Kasi i-represent ko na lang na may hole. Yeah. But still, we still have a load here, one meter. That is so three point. One to five, six point twenty. Lagyan ko na lang ng dot. To represent na marami yan. Okay. And uh, how about the flexion curve? Most likely, ganun pa rin naman. Kasi nandito yung load mo. Yeah. Okay. And then, uh, just write down uh, number of elements is equal to 232 uh, number of nodes is 285. Um, will it be one way bending? Only one data. Only one data. Okay, okay. Pin support. No pin support. Para ano yan eh, no? Di ba parang ganun? This is our plate. No? Okay, ano ko. Blurb. Ito ba? Ayan. So, di ba, ganito yung plate natin. Kung pin support, so meron ka pa rin rotation. Tapos, uh, di ba, ang, ang degrees of freedom natin for the thin plate bending is the vertical, the vertical displacement, and the uh, rotation on both direction. So, ganun din, no? Uh, although it's pin support, it will have, no? It should have uh, two, two, ano, two, two data, X and Y direction. In the case of STAAD, as per our axis, X and Z, X and Z. Kasi ang global axis ni STAAD. One way po, UZ and RY only. Ano ba yung UZ? Ano yun eh, no? Yung ba yung ano? Vertical displacement, no? Oh, yeah. Na dalawa, no? It will still be two. Dalawa dapat.
Oke. Okay. Yes, yes. Two way means uh, yeah, vertical displacement, rotation sa x, rotation sa y. Yes. Okay. Although ano ano to, to, if you wanted to simplify the problem, di ba? Kahit i-neglect mo yung ano, no, yung tawag nito, yung yung other direction, no, which uh uh let's say uh dito, yung ito, yung rotation niya. Kasi kung ito yung ano natin, ito yung ito yung problem natin, definitely the the bending is something like this. It's, uh, it's it's up no kung, kung sa, in a design purpose pwede mong gawin no pero for completeness of the problem no kasi nga tin plate bending pinag-aaralan natin we consider both yeah so okay Okay, next is, babalikan natin yung module. Okay, speed support has 3 degrees of freedom while pin support has 1 degree of freedom restraint. Yeah. Meaning the plate can rotate on both axes. So, number of elements, 232, nodes, 285. Sige, so, ah. Uh, uh, save us ko muna to. Save us. This is the MATLAB. Bakit wala ang save us to? Ayun. Save us. So, di, di, uh, you, ano, mas, mas powerful kasi si MATLAB, no? as I've said before. Kasi nga, ano siya eh. This is not a freeware, no? yung even yung handling niya ng matrices no kaya niya yung mas malaking matrix size unlike si S mat nagii-struggle siya okay uh, so na to second sem yeah for me to slab uh, lagyan natin 125 may hole see so in uh date number of elements is 232 and then number of nodes 285 okay 285 next restrain do f balikan natin yan later no um but the ima forces balikan natin yan node coordinates this is for the purpose of plotting the no the this this structure yeah, so and before you you uh, no, no you you finalize the node numbers make sure na no na walang missing no kasi di ba ang tendency like nung buo to tendency niya i-delete yung ano eh no i-delete yung what they call this yung yung plate na yung mga plates inside no so mararumble yung ano yung plate yung node numbering even yung plate numbering Make sure mag-renumber nodes kayo, renumber plates kayo para ano uh, in sequence yung ano no? yung yung numbering both for the nodes and for the plate numbers. Uh, okay, so, uh, siguro for ano for presentation. Pakita natin. Shift in. Yeah. Shift S to disable the nodes. Check natin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, how many ano to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. 1, 2, 3. So 33 chef. 33 nodes. Okay. And then for the one meter, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, nine. 
So, 33 times 9, 297. So, dahil may butas, yan, naging 285. Okay? Kasi, if if hindi ka siya na-renumber properly, baka, ano yan, yun nga, 297 lumabas na number of nodes niya. Okay. So, meaning na-renumber ko na siya. Okay. Sige, also, uh, let's renumber ulit, no? For the purpose na, for running the problem from scratch, no? Mano natin. Kasi na-run ko na to before. Uh, geometry, renumber nodes. Yeah. So select the, all the nodes and renumber nodes. Yes. Joint number. Tumayon natin. Mukhang hindi naman nagbago. Hmm. Uh, how do we change this further? Uh, we can also set that ito, 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 yan, yan. Yan. We can set that as ano. Uh, Mag-start yung numbers in that row. No? In that row. So we do that. Uh, so the number nodes. Yes. Uh, joint number, I'll start with 1,000. Yeah. Uh, Diyan mag-start. Set. Ito naman. Number nodes. Yes. Joint number. So ano siya? 1,050. Para ano ito? Ano? Experiment just to 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 check no kung kung magvary number siya ng ano ulit ng ano in a different manner. The number nodes yes. Tapos irere number ko the whole ano mamaya. Ah uh, thousand ninety. Ay akit na to double ang sir. Malaman niya din yung features ng staad for renumbering. Number nodes, 1,000, uh, Kasi ang end nito is 1,122. Eh. So kailangan yung numbering mo is unique para hindi, ano, para hindi siya mag ano, overlap doon sa iba. Number notes, yes. Okay, so we're done renumbering all the nodes. No? So nag-start na siya sa 1,000. Then pwede niyong i-renumber ulit yan from 1. You know? So this is to ensure lang na yung ano ko, yung, yung what do you call this, yung sequence is by row. No? Yan. Kanina kasi, di ba? 1, 2, 3. Baka iba-iba. Yan. Yun lang, just to show you na ano, pwede niyong i-force kay Staad to renumber na nodes by row. Pwede yan. Number again. So, yes. Uh, yan. Say, X coordinate. Start na ako sa 1, then accept. Parang ganun, no? So, nag-renumber naman siya. So, ito naman. Ganyan. Okay. 
Okay. At least, mas may ano siya eh. Yung parang pag ninuno ko siya, nirearrange ko siya by that ano, pag nag-renumber ulit ako, may may proper direction na. No, kanina, gulo-gulo. Anyway, so still 285 pa rin naman. No? 285 pa rin. Okay. Next is plate numbers. Pwede rin natin year number. Tingnan natin yung plate number. Shift P. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Mukhang okay naman na yung ano, numbering ng plates. No? As you will see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 32, 33. So tama naman yung sequence. So, no need to change that. Okay. Ayan. So for the nodes coordinates, so I'll copy this. Copy. Doon sa corner para ma-select lahat. Then let's open an Excel. So, ito din yung maganda sa MATLAB. Eh, no? Mas uh, mabilis yung ano niya. When, when you edit in Excel, right away makakapipaste mo kay MATLAB. Eh. No? Tinan nyo, kay SMAT, di ba? Nag-ano pa tayo? Nag-command pa tayo ng import, export. No? So, this is X, Y, Z. Yeah. Pero yung sa MATLAB na ano ko is this, ano eh. Ika-cut ko tong Y kasi puro zero yan. And then, cut that, paste here. Then, semicolon. So, semicolon sa MATLAB means ano another row. no Para... Ma, ano, it, 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 it instructs the MATLAB that the next numbers will be placed to another row. It, and cut that again. Paste. Okay, our module. Doon muna tayo sa node coordinates. Yan. So, kinapi siya. Then, you will paste here. Okay. Push that. Pagkakin natin ito. Nakapit ko na ba? Hindi pa pala. Control C. And then, go to MATLAB. So, you will see now yung matrix na yan is needed to, ano, no, to, to plot the structure. So, re-replace natin to. Replace that here and paste. Okay. So, that is your node coordinate na, na matrix. Next is the element nodes. Element nodes, yan naman yung uh, sequence, no? Nung plate numbering. Saan na nga yun? Yan, no? Yung sequence natin. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 3. Yan. So, susundan mo siya. No? So, consistent dapat. 1, 2, 4, 3. Although, as a disclaimer, no, may, may comment ako dyan. No? Saka na natin pag-usapan. No? Anyway, consistent naman yung value. Eh, no? Kasi, ano eh. Uh, Di ba, naalala nyo yung derivation natin ng stiffness matrix. Pag ganito yung direction. So, dapat consistent pag ganun din. I think, 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. So, in STAA, dapat ganun din yung gagawin natin. No? So, hindi ko ginagawa. No? <laughs> yeah, so, anyway, uh, so that's the reason. but nagbabalik tayo yung MX, MY? No? Yun yung reason. Anyway, so, sundan lang natin para, ano, baka kasi mas malito kayo eh. No? Kaya, I choose na just follow yung, ano, yung mat, yung staat. 1, 2, 4, 3. 1, 2, 4, 3, 2, 5, 6, 4. So, means, we'll just copy this, the plate layout. Uh, copy, then right click, 
So Excel. Uh, yes, oh, you, you, yeah, mas maganda sa Python kasi free yun eh, no? Oh, hindi ko wala akong time i-ano to sa Python kasi uh, ano eh, hindi ko pa na-explore si Python. Pero yeah, mas ano, mas mas advisable si Python kasi nga it's a free software. It's a free software. Um Mm. Uh, by the way, no, do sa G Drive, in-upload ko na yung pinagkunan ko ng code na to, no? Hindi naman pinagkunan, syempre inedit ko to ano. Uh, you can ano, you can use that si Ferreira, no? Si Ferreira. Maglabas yung G Drive natin. Tagal mag-load ko. G drive. Anyway, so I'll replace this with semicolon. Ayan. Semicolon. 1, 10, 11, 2. 1, 10, 11, 2. Okay. Takes and share. Yeah, okay. so. yeah ito kay Perea. Ito yung ano natin, G Drive. So, si... so nandito si Perea. Ito, MATLAB codes. Yeah. And then yung mga MATLAB. You can use that. For finite element analysis. Yan. May hanggang frame. So, ano to, no? Pwede nyo gamitin sa structure, ano? Sa matrix analysis. Yan. So, may kita nyo, uh, yung plates niya is wala. <laughs> Mindlin plates agad siya. <clears throat> yeah, no? Mindlin plates. So, wala dyan yung dinidiscuss ko. So, basically, I just followed the logic. Yun lang naman, eh, no? We, we should not uh, copy-paste the entire code. No? We just follow the logic. No? Paano pa ba? Yung, yung basic, ano, stiffness formulation, then the rest kayo na yung gagawa. No? Okay. Ayan, ito, ito. Basically, yan. Ito yung, ito yung maganda sa MATLAB. No? Three liners lang yung ano niya. Yung stiffness matrix. Ayan, three liner lang. Ganyan lang kabilis. Okay. Sige, so you can ano, use that. Tapos, okay. So, C. Ah, natin ko na paste. Paste. Then, copy ulit. Then, control C. Then, paste sa MATLAB. Paste here. So, what else? Ito, huwag niyo pansinin yan. Saka ako na i-discuss yan. Sa ano yan, sa plain stress yan. Walang ano yan, wala yung purpose ng sa code. Next is yung mesh natin. For the mesh, yan, 0 0.1, then 0.125 tayo. By 0.125. 
And uh, so I'd like to show you that it's the same, I uh, know, it's the same code for generating the stiffness matrix of a single element. Yeah. This is your our B matrix. Remember, this is our diba? Ito yung ating formula, which we derive also. Diba? Double integral because two dimensional. Zero to A, zero to B, B transpose DB. Ito yung double integral. Yan, B transpose uh, D and then B. Yan. So, ito yung ganito mag-double integral sa MATLAB. Okay. And then, uh, yun. this is the B matrix that we derive also. No? Na-derive natin yan. So, ito naman yung B transpose. Ito yung D matrix, yung constant. No? Okay. Yeah. Then Poisson ratio 0.17, elasticity 21.7 times 10 raised to 9. Okay. So yun yung edit nyo. Depende sa mesh nyo. Okay. And then finally to, to get the the ano, the stiffness, ito nga yun, you need to have P inverse transpose, this one. And then phi inverse, this one. Pa, uh, hindi ko na pakita dito. Or hindi mali now. Uh, you will see, yung transpose kay MATLAB, ganito. Yan. So K transpose. Ganyan, ganyan ang transpose. Then remember, ito yung ating phi matrix. Okay. Yeah, so this code computes the stiffness absolute stiffness matrix. Yan nga. Three liner lang no of the structure. So the the logic is pag na compute na niya yung stiffness matrix of a single element, this is 12 by 12, no? And tapos it will prepare uh the absolute stiffness matrix. Ano nga yung absolute stiffness matrix natin? Since we have uh, 285 nodes, 285 nodes, yeah. 285 nodes times 3 degrees of freedom. So yeah, our absolute stiffness matrix is 855 by 855. Yes. Unti-unti, pupunuin ni MATLAB yun. No? From a 12 by 12, uh, okay, ito yung 12 by 12 natin. So, uh, yan. I, uh, ano niya, per element, uh, i-fill up niya yung 855 by 855 from a, from a 12 by 12 stiffness matrix to form the 855. So that's the absolute stiffness matrix. Okay. 855 by 855. Case of A. Okay. Then, uh, once you have a case of A, uh, where is the displacement? I don't see it here. Muna pa kita yun. Dito. Uh, ayan. Ayan. This one is uh, kaya, kaya mahalaga yung restrained DOF na matrix. no From a 855 by 855 uh, next nyan is to compute for the relative stiffness matrix. no Considering now the restrained degrees of freedom. So from 855, i-extract niya yung restrained DOF using this command, set diff. So it's a, it's a built-in ano na, command kay MATLAB. No? Yan, yung, yan yung maganda kay MATLAB. No? Uh, as far as I know, sa SMAT, walang ganyan. Eh, no? Walang ganyan. Ano, ganyang kabilis. No? Yeah. Na for a given matrix, 
Uh, basta iset mo lang yung mga numbers, alisin niya. Wala eh. Ginawan ko pa siya ng code. Tapos yun nga sa lecture natin. Yan. So, uh, looking at the structure, yan, di ba? May fix tayo. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9. Sorry, kumpit natin ha. Yan. So, so these are nine nodes. Nine. So nine nodes yan. So that will be nine times three is equal to twenty seven. Tapos so ito naman yung pin support natin. One degree of freedom lang yung ano niya. Maka capture niya or mare restrain niya. So that's nine again. And then here another nine. Nine. Twenty seven. So twenty seven plus sixteen. 43. Oh, 43. So you have 43 degrees of freedom. Naaalisin sa 855 by 855. So the resulting uh, K sub R is will have a size of 812 by 812. Yeah. Once you have your K sub R or sa Notation natin sa ano. So this is our S. From P equals S T. D equals S inverse P. Your first vector is. Uh, yeah. A first vector tayo. You now have your S matrix. You can now compute for that displacement. 812. Okay. Next, so we're going next we're going to uh, we're done with that. So we're going to win that. So we're going to win that. So we're going to win that. So we're going Yeah, I'll copy this. Oh, sorry. Select ko siya. Masa geometry tayo. Ang maganda sa stud, no? Once you select, yan, sa select siya dito. Okay. Copy. Right-click yun, no? And paste here. Okay. Then, gawa na lang natin ng formula. formula. So, equals this times 3 minus 2. One equals this times 3 minus 1. Then finally, this times 3. Then drag, copy paste. Yan ay mga degrees of freedom. Yan yun na lang ng semicolon. Okay. Next. Ito naman. Yung sa roller support. Or pin pala. Shift N. Ay. Shift S. Yan. Yan tayo sa geometry. Right here. Uh, 136. Very pala natin kung na-select siya. Ayun, select naman, no? Right click, copy, then paste here. Yeah. Just copy this formula. Paste. Okay. 
406. And last, the strain, degrees of freedom. Select natin to. Okay, copy. Paste in Excel. Delete this. Copy the formula. Okay. Then, gayahin natin yung format na yan. Because, if you will notice, yun din yung format natin sa MATLAB. Ang ginagawa ko na lang is, nadayain ko na lang kay MATLAB. This, tapos, and, Okay, I'm gonna space and and then this degree of freedom and space again and then select this again then long on the gen semicolon semicolon I want And enter. 406, 829. So, okay lang yan. Anong doble yung, ano, yung degree of freedom number. No, mahalaga lang naman kay MATLAB. Ma, makita niya yung number na yan. No? So, kumbaga, again, dun nga. No? Sa 855 by 855, di ba yung, yung degree of freedom nun or yung size ng matrix mo, uh, yung addresses, no? 1, 1 to 855. So, pag nakita niya yung Yung 829, ayan, aalisin niya yung, ano na yun, yung data for that. Yung nakalagay sa 829 by 829. Yun ang ibig sabihin. So, copy ko muna to. Then, proceed sa MATLAB. And then, I'll supersede that with this. Ayan. And then, ito naman. Control C, go to MATLAB and paste. So those are the restrained degrees of freedom. The 43, dapat dyan, no? 43. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Twenty-one, eight, nine, twenty-seven. 9, 27. What else? Last one, yung mga forces, no? Forces, okay. So, saan nakalagay yung forces? Punta tayo sa loading. Ayan. Ito makita. View. Ayun. Yung 208. No? 208. Ayan. Select cursor, nodes. Select yung 208. So, yun yung mga nodes, no? So, ako sa geometry. Then, dito na yun. Malamang right click. Ah, wala. Itin ko na lang. Nodes. 108. Yun. Nakita ko. Copy. And then, paste again. Here. Home, yeah, okay. Then, uh, degrees of freedom, yeah. Copy ko to. So, these are the degrees of freedom. 622, 625. I-minimize ko muna siya. Minimize. Minimize natin to.
Ayan. So, yung 622 is here. 622. Then, 625, yung ano, next. Ayan. So, node 208, ang load niya ay yun nga, it's 3.125. No? 3.125. See here, this should be 3.125. Okay? Then yung 625 is 6.25. 6.25. Okay? And then, yeah. so me meaning, yung 628, yeah, 628, 631, uh, 634, uh, 637, 640, 643. Yeah, let's see that will be the same with 625. Okay. Paste. And last, yung 646, 646 is also 622. This is symmetrical yung ano natin, loading natin. We save this. Okay, that's it. Okay na yata ito. Pwede natin itong i-run. Restrain DOF lang naman. So, ayun, yun yung na-iwan eh. No? Okay. To explain ko, ano, but before that, no, uh, di ba, uh, this, this matrix, yan, this command will create the force vector, no? Kasi ninyo yung size niya, zeros, no? Ibig sabihin, GDOF, comma, 1, di ba? Ang GDOF natin ay 855. So, 855 by 1. Ibig sabihin, no? So, you have an 855. You have uh, an 855 by 1 matrix. Puro zero. No? Then this command now will, this command will supersede yung mga values, yung mga zero values sa 622, sa 625, sa 628, so on and so forth. And magkakalaman sila. So that will form your P vector. No? Kanina, you have an S vector. You now you have your P vector. You can now solve for the displacement. Okay. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, click run, change folder, kasi nga, nag-save us ako. Ayan. So this is now the, yeah, the, the, the deformation. So basically the same, no? It's the same with what we achieved in STAD. Yeah. So yun yung may butas na ito. Okay. And you will see, dahil nga, we, we consider both theta x and theta y. Kasi ninyo, no? May, ayan, si C, C, no? Hindi equal yung ano, no? Ibig sabihin, yeah, ito yung elevation view na ganyan, no? Tapos, hindi equal. Hindi equal. Ah. Hindi equal. May, may gumaganon, no? Sabi, may nagwa-warp eh, no? May, may, may gumaganon. No? Kasi, ibig sabihin, nakonsider natin both theta. No? Both rotation. Okay? And uh, when you look at STAAD, I think ganun din naman si STAAD, no? If you will see post-processing. Ah, hindi ko ba naroon ito? Yes. Save. Um, and yeah, so it's the uh, basement. 
if you will view front view ah uh, yan then you know may ano din di ba so uh, if if of course natin tong 1 theta lang no in the direction of the longitudinal axis uh, hindi magaganyan niya no equal yung ano niya walang walang ganyang effect so sabihin dahil we sabihin na consider din niya yung rotation on the other direction yeah that's why when you click on the summary find the maximum displacement kasi niyo ang binibigay niya node 217 which is ayo 217 sa 217 ayun sa edge no kasi yun yung ano eh no yun yung nag nag warp <laughs> okay pero 3.56 no 3.56 how about dito to pa tayo dito yung sa gitna 3.45 halos hindi naman ganun kalaki no but still magkaiba sila 3.45 Anyway, so what did we get no sa sa MATLAB pala no So in in uh, in sulat ko lang no sa ano sa sta uh, 3.45 3.45 this is 3.45 or 3.56 edge how about yung uh, maximum y so 1.017 so natin dito 1.017 slash sa gitna I'm getting 0 0.99. 0 0.99. Okay. But let me check the you know, node numbers. No? So 86, 86, 82. So this is 86. Then yung gitna is 82. About dito naman. Minimum y is 217. Ito, ito, ito. 217. Sa gitna is 221. Yan. So, sinulat ko. No? Node 86, node 82, node 217, node 221. Verify natin. Yeah, so just call the displacement. Yeah. Uh, of the of the node, no, in the hand natin. Of the node, ito. Ah, uh, ito na lang. Two one seven. No, two one seven. So two one seven times three minus two. So this is Yan yung displacement at that degree of freedom. Yan. So, what do we get? We're getting 0 0.004. 0 0.004. Or, ano yan? 4 mm. No, 4 mm. It's 4 mm. Baguhin ko yung call. Lincoln Blue. 4 mm versus 3.56 kay Staat. About sa gitna. No? Gitna is node 221. Displacements 221 naman tayo. 4.1. Mas malaki pa. No? 4.1. Okay. 3.45 kista add 4.1 sa atin. Okay. Wala ba tayong na-miss dito? Okay, okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Tama naman.
Okay, how about dito sa ano sa sa taas? Displacement at node 86. Node 86. Yan, I'm getting 1.2. Going to tong blue 1.2 versus taads 1.017. And sa gitna node 82. 82. Ah, the same naman. 1.2 then. Okay. It's a comparison. Three point one two five six point two nine. Okay, okay. How about the moment? No, let's check the moment. Okay. That is a plate results. And uh, MX fly. So you will see yung maximum moment is again dun pa rin, no? Sa loaded plate. So this red is here. Yeah, nandiyan yung maximum moment. Then, ito naman, these are negative, no? Sa supports. Okay? So, positive to. Ayan. This is negative. As per stat convention, eh? Stat convention, negative. Then, here is what? That's color, sabi natin, green. Green is also positive, no? As per stat convention, it's positive. Okay. So if if we ano no again e e interpret natin no natin <clears throat> you got. Mm. Yeah, so uh, kasi ang bending moment natin dyan is something like ba? nulit ko lang yung ano eh, no? Ano ba yung bending moment? Ah, hindi. May ano nga pala tayo dyan. Uh, you have... Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's your bending moment. So positive na positive negative positive. Okay. Uh, I, I always go back to the basic, you know, para to re, you know, to to remind us, you know, di ba? If you have a loading like this. And moment diagram nyan is ito. Yeah. 
So this is positive, negative. And the deflection curve yan is something like this, no? Or if we exaggerate natin, it will be, I don't know. Yeah. So this is under tension. This is compression. Right? So meaning, a positive moment will cause a tension at the bottom fiber. Positive moment, tension, bottom fiber. So we look at back here. No? Yeah. Positive moment, tension at the bottom fiber. And this is why tension at the bottom fiber we have a deflection. So this is in tension. Ito yung ating axis. Yeah. So, negative moment, compression at the bottom fiber. So, paganyan siya. Compression at the bottom fiber. Positive moment, tension at the bottom fiber. Kaya, yung ano natin, no? yung, ay, yung, maganyan. Tension at the bottom fiber. Which is, yeah, ito nga. Bumaga nun tayo. Okay. So, consistent naman, no? That's consistent. Okay, for the values, sulat pala natin. No, ko natin around 16 to 18 no? or 17 to 18. No? Lagyan na lang natin dito. 17 to 18 kilonewton meter. 17 to 18 kilonewton meter per meter. Okay, dito, sa support, ayan, mga 10, no? 9 to 10, no? 9 to 11. No? So this is 9 to 11 kilonewton meter. Then here. Yeah. Uh, green. Anong green ba to? <laughs> 6 na lang. No? Average 6 kilonewton meter na lang. Okay. okay. Kilo newton meter per meter. So, ganyan yung, yung trend niya. So, yeah, let's check with our math lab. So, that's what? Ano, uh, ano ang plate to? Alamin mag natin, anong plate? Huh? So, kuha tayo ng, ano, ng sample plate. Sample dito, sample dito, and sample din dito, sample dyan. So ano to? 91. Let's go plate 91. Ninety one, the man so supports one twenty eight. Ay, mali. Ito pala yung supports one twenty eight. Eight. Ito sa gitna. What about here. Uh, Hindi ko pala ito na-investigate. 
Yung brown is 7. Eh. 7 to 5. O 6 na lang, average. 6 kilonewton meter itong brown. Uh, 98. So, according to ano, 6 kilonewton meter. Negative 6. Okay. Negative 6. This supports 128. Sa gitna. Ito. Plate number 111. Okay. Okay, start. Yeah. So, we'll choose. Uh, ang command niyan is ito. Ito yun. No? M staat. No? Ito yun. So, yan. It's the same code na ginamit natin. Do sa SMAT. No? Once you get the moment plate. Ah, hindi ko pala na-explain pa ito. No? For the moment, ito naman. Explain ko, no? Ah, uh, ito. So, yeah, di ba? This is the formula for moment. D, then times the curvature. And then, so, D, B, phi inverse D. Yan. So, moment plate is uh, in triple M times the displacement. Just this. So, what's triple M? <laughs> triple M is dB phi inverse. Yeah. dB phi inverse. Where is dB? Yun yung kanina, yung nasa ibabaw. dB ito. Ayan. Ito. Um, it's dB. Ito, ito. Ayan. Yung double integral. Ayan yung dB. D matrix times the B matrix. Okay. okay. Yeah. So basically, no, uh, as you will see, no, kin talagang kinapture ko yung, yung kung ano yung na-derive natin. No? Yun din. It's the same ano lang. Yeah. So MATLAB lang in-implement. Okay. And uh, ano na tayo? Yan. So, M star. So, M star. Then, yung colon means lahat ng data ng column. Yan ibig sabihin. Uh, lahat ng data of all the rows, no? For a single row. Ano nga po? Kasi sana ba yan? Uh, ayan o. Yung di ba, itong displacements element DOF. Ayan. So, yun yung 12 by 1 na displacement per plate. Ayan. Single plate has a 12 by 1 displacement matrix. Ayan. So, once you multiply that by the triple M, which is DBP inverse, yun, makakapture mo na lahat ng data of the moment of the plates. Ayan. Yun yung maganda dito kay MATLAB. No? In a single matrix, Yan, itong matrix na to, M plate na yan, that contains all the moment no, of, of all the plates. No, yun na ibig sabihin nun. Maka-capture na niya. Okay? Yan o, naka-loop for one to all the elements. No? Hanggang 200, anong elements sa atin? 232. No? Merong siyang, bubuo siya ng 232 uh, Sabi natin, 232 by 1 na matrix containing all the moments no, of each plate. So, kinocall lang natin siya. Tapos, yung bawat moment na yun, using this formula, will convert to, ayan, yung convention ni Staad. 
Okay, sige. So, this is a command, msta, then what's the element number? Uh, yes, we have, ano, earlier. So, support, 91. No? Call natin yung moment sa plate 91. So, yeah. So, we're getting 1, 6, and 0 0.07. Okay? So, mx yung 6, no? Which is, uh, yeah. Yan yung nakuha natin. Average. 6 kilonewton meter per minute. So may ano naman. No? Almost the same. Okay. How about sa supports? No? Itong 9 to 11 na, na average. No? So what element is that? Element 1 to 8. 1 to 8. Call natin siya. 1 to 8. Ayan. So it's also getting 12. No? 12. So we're getting, as we saw, yeah, 9 to 11, 12. Okay. Next, yung laman dito sa ano, no? yung loaded. No? Yung loaded, uh, we call this uh, span. No? 17 to 18, makukuha natin. So anong plate number yon? 111. No? Call natin si moments uh, 111. Okay. Yeah. Getting 19.98 as compared to Staad getting yeah, 17 to 18. So, yung trend, no? The same naman. Okay. Okay. So, so, so ganun, no? Ganun kabilis kay Staad. No? Ay, kay MATLAB, no? As compared kay SMAT. So, you can also do sa ano, Python nga. Meron pa, may other ano pa, Scilab, no? Freeware din yata yun, or Mathematica. No? Freeware din siya. Sige, let's have a, a break. Okay, so balikan lang natin yung ano, no? yung last time. Uh, ano nga to? It's 40 kilonewton. So we can copy this problem. Copy. This is a dito. Hindi ko yata napakita yun ng ano. Na model ng finer mesh. So... Lagyan natin ng load na 40 kilonewton. Ayan. I think minodel natin to sa Euler Bernoulli beam. Um, let me check. Ito ba yun? Ito yata. Ayan. Beam plate. This one. Loading. It should be 40. Ayan. 40 kilonewton. Then the properties... And, yan. It's, it's just yung 0.1 by 1 meters. Okay. And then also with the supports. Yan. Fix and pin. Yeah. Okay. Then run this. I think meron na yata ito. Okay. So we're in the displacement is 2.53 mm. Node 3. So 2.53 mm. Uh, sulatan ko na lang. 2.53. 2 2.53. Lagyan ko ng dilog. No? So you will see, no, mas malaki yung displacement ng may hole. No? Kasi nga, syempre, stiffness na reduce no? on that location. Okay. So 2.53, then the, the, ano, the, yung up Ah, kasi hindi natin, hindi, hindi tayo naglagay ng ano yun. Hindi natin dinescritize dun sa ano. Anyway, we can I think pwede itong ano, i-double click. Deflection. Local deflection. Y. Ayan, 0.7 din. 0.7 so, yan. 0.7 mm. Lagyan ko ng, ng circle. Ayan. 0.7. Okay? 
but the load is 40 kilonewton. Okay. So we tried to model this uh, using ito, ito, yeah. And, and solve sa SMAT, no? To, ano, uh, anong size? 0.25 by 0.25. Okay. Now let's try some MATLAB or ano ba? Uh, yun nga, using 125 millimeter mesh. Uh, so, if, so ito, ito na lang muna. So, post-processing, okay, one, two, three, so, displacements, yan. We're getting 2.57, no? So, we can say this is in STAAD, uh, 2.58 na lang, <laughs> slash, 2.58, yan. FEM or ano ba? Summarize ko na lang, no? So, using STAAD uh, what do you call this? How many elements ba to? 64, no? 64 element. Okay, ko. 64 element. Yeah. Okay. Uh, then compare with STAAD. Um, ano yung kanina? 232. 8 times. May, may natin lagay. Then uh, um, beam. Same beam. Tapos, uh, um, MATLAB, yeah. 64 element, 64 element, and then MATLAB, yeah. just for comparison, no? so, kung ano mga elements yun, no? so still we have, ano, yeah. Okay. So, for example, uh, ano yung mga data natin? Uh, max delta na lang. Lagay ko. Ayan. Max delta. Uh, tapos um, okay. negative moment at support. Hmm? Negative moment. Tapos positive moment. What else? Uh, positive displacement na lang. Positive delta na lang. Ito negative delta. Positive moment, negative moment, tapos positive moment at support. Ayan. Okay. So, kanina, so sa beam, we got uh, 2.53. Lagyan natin siya. Beam. Two point fifty three. Whereas in star add sixty four element, two point fifty eight. Okay. A negative moment sa beam. Ano ko na capture na natin yung dati? Okay. Saan na natin gawin yun? Okay. Negative moment sa star add. Tapos tayo sa okay. 
0.7 din no yung ano niya positive displacement 0 0.712 uh, in uh, in beam 0.7 in stat plate results okay swan yeah we're getting 13.8 pero if you let look here 13.6 set na lang natin 13.8 na lang negative moment uh sorry uh positive moment 13.8 for the negative moment ito sa sa support is you know it's 7.88 7.88 what else yung sa support naman ito yung green getting 3.55 no? 3.55 okay yeah the summary okay okay then uh i think ginawa ko na rin siya sa matlab saan na mali or is that dami ko kasi dami ko kasi nirarami eh. open ito ito yata open ano kaya mesh size nito ah uh, ito hindi 256 element to hmm so anyway yan yan yung 256 element so Ah, um, uh, sige i-run ko din to, no? Let's run this. Yan, so ito naman yung kanyang displacement. Okay. Ah, uh, tanong <laughs> ano ba to 256 elements saan yung model ko no <laughs> hindi ko alam ah uh, hindi mamaya na lang yung ano na lang yung original lang yung ito ito yung ano 64 element dapat to yan ito 64 element yan which is the same dito just the same there. Okay? So, I'll run that. So, clear. So, you'll see. Then, run. Okay. Yeah. So, yung mo modeling nito, similar dun sa start natin. Okay? Sige. So, that means ito din yung node numbering na ginamit ko. Okay. Check natin yung uh, negative displacement. So, that will be node 13 and 47. Natin. Minimize. Ito siya. No? 13 and 47. So, the command is displacements. Ano na yun? Yan. I'll just change the ano. Yan. Node 13. Yan. We're getting 3.2 mm. So, I'll write that down here. Natin siya dito. Yan. In MATLAB, 64 element. 3.2 mm. Okay, how about ano nga to? 47. Check natin ha. So displacement 47. 
gumaran tong ay Yeah. 47. See. 3.4. Slash 3.4. So medyo malaki, no? As compared to Staad or sa BIM, ano, 2.53. No? Okay. Uh, next, what's the negative moment? Sa so support niya, no? Sa so support. So, anong plate number ang titignan natin? Say, plate 40. No, plate 40. M staad. Yan, plate 40. Yan, I'm getting 8.31. 8.31. Whereas, staad gets 7.88. Okay. Next, the positive moment. Ito. Ayan. Ayan. Either plate 44 or plate 45. 44, 45. 45. And we're getting 14.42. 14.42. Versus 13.8 kay Staad. 14.42. Okay. Kaya ano no, kay Bim, last time, nasa 15 to, no? Parang tanda ko, 15.7 yata. Ayan. Next is positive displacement. So, positive displacement, ito, node, ano to? Ano nga ba yung maximum displacement natin dyan? Uh, I think um, Punta mo na ako sa displacements Summary Node 6 How about node 40 na lang Yung gitna Node 40 Is 0.68 no? 0.68 pala ito Yung gitna 0.68 Okay, that's node 40. No? Let's check it dito. Displacements, node 40. So, do we get 0 0.9? No? 0 0.9. Write that down here. So, 0 0.9. So, mas malaki. No? Mas malaki yung binaba. Mas malaki din yung tinas. <laughs> Okay, what else? Positive moment sa support. No, yung leftmost. Okay. Anong plate number yon? Say 33. Either 17 or 33. M sta at... Ay, mali. 33. And we're getting 3.7. 3.7. Okay, compared to Staad getting 3.55. Okay. Okay. Okay, so next is let's model instead sa 256 element. Yeah. 256 element. So, mas finer yung meshing na gagawin natin. Okay. So, syempre, corresponding to that, yung staad nga. Yung 256 element na staad. Although, right now, uh, right now, uh, upon review, no, you will see, sa 64 element pa lang, no, nakakapture na halos ni staad yung ano yun, no? Yung theoretical ba? Displacement, yes. No? Sa moment, hindi. Eh. Oh, yeah. May discrepancy. No? May discrepancy sa moment. Ulitin nga natin. Malimutan ko yung ano. File, open. Ito, yan. Hindi ko na-capture lahat. Eh. 
Sige, uh, post processing, okay. Beam results. Ayan, ito yung mga moment natin. Double click. Share bending. Ayan. 4.25 pala to. So support should be 4.25. Tapos 8.54 sa negative moment. Okay na? Okay. Ayan, pinapture ko na. So ayan, 8.54, stad is only getting 7.88. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. May discrepancy, no? Doon sa, sa moment, pagdating sa moment. But in, when it comes to the displacement, halos the same naman na. Okay. So, yon Instead of 64, so as a designer, ganun din ginagawa madalas. You, know? you try to mesh the the ano the structure into a finer mesh no kung kung magko-converge yung result no when it comes to the displacement and also to the moment yung ganun na rin sa stresses no okay, so pero tayo ngayon sa open saka ba yung model ko no ito yata 256 element. Ito pala eh. Yan eh. Plate layout. Tayo sa geometry. Plate layout. Dapat 256 to. Ayan. So ito ngayon. 256 element. Okay. Sige. So ito na ngayon. No? So verify ko lang yung loading. No? Loading. Okay. Ito na ngayon. 6.125 tapos 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7. 7 times 6.25 is 43. Plus 3.125 times 2. Ah, 50 kilo newton to. Kaya eh, pala malaki. Eh, yung load natin sa uh, brim, 40 kilo newton lang. Okay. Ulitin ko ah, 40 kilo newton. 40 kilo newton. Kaya pala masyado malaki na yun. Uh, sige, balik tayo sa 40 kilo newton. So, ano lang na ang dapat to? 50 divide 7. Divide 8. Ayan. So, gabi ko siyang 40. Ayan. So, 5 na to. Ito will be 5. This will be 5. Modify. Yes. And then, ito will be 2.5. 2.5. Modify. Yes. Ayan. So, 40 kilo nyo to na yan. Verify natin properties. Ayan, point 0.1, concrete material. Verify natin yung dimension. Utilities. Node to node. 1 meter. 4 meters. Okay? So again, let's run this. Save. Okay, run analysis. Okay, then investigate the displacements and the moment. Okay, minimum is 2.57. So, lagay ko sa summary, ah. 2.57, ayan. So, 2.57. Okay, next. Uh, yung positive displacement, ganun din, no? 0. 0.72. 0. 0.72 or 0. 0.71. And uh, for the negative moment, put tayo sa plate results. Okay. So obvious naman, yung red is what? 
14.9. So let's write that down. Positive moment, 14.9. Okay. Nakita nyo, no? Laki nung ano, biglang, biglang angat, no? When we model with using a finer mesh, lumaki na yung moment. 14.9. Okay? Kasi capture nyo na yung ano, eh. Yung kumbaga, yung kanina, sa 250 by 250, di ba, sabi nga natin, ina-average na sa center, eh. No? Ngayon, ito, yung, dahil nga mas maliit na yung mesh size natin, nakakapture na nyo yung halos yung corner no doon sa dating 250 by 250 na mesh 14.9 uh, about the negative moment 8.3 yan yeah, no? yung that's magenta no 8.3 okay yan yeah, sulat natin 8.3 okay 8.3 Okay. So, lumaki din yung negative moment. No, near na dun sa Euler beam. No? Euler Bernoulli beam. So, so, beam modeling natin. Okay. Uh, positive moment na lang. So, support is this green. Ano yan? Nandito ako. Nandito ako sa color. Parang color blinded na yata ako. Center stresses, yan. 3.97. 3.97. Lagi ko na lang. 3.97. So, as you will see, uh, yan, mas umangat na rin yung ano niya, moment niya. No? As, as before, 3.55 lang. Okay. Yan. So, yan. Okay na tayo lahat except yung ano naman niya, yung MATLAB result niya. Using the same model naman. No? How but different formulation niya. Thin plate pending lang. Sige. So, analytical. Uh, Punta tayo sa geometry. Uh, ulitin natin yung process. So, uh, una, ulitin natin to. So, ano to? 256 element. I think is where's that? Ito ngayon, yung 256. Anyway, for the sake of ano, no, uh, demonstrating, uh, we'll repeat the process. Yeah. So we have 256 elements. How many nodes? We have 297. Okay. So consistent. 297. Okay. In the restrained DOF, later na ulit chan. Okay. Later na rin to. Node coordinates. So copy natin to. Copy, Excel, and Joel. Then semicolon. Copy this. Kasi rin yung walang semicolon yung last, no? Because that means terminated na yung data. No? Hanggang doon na lang siya. So, node coordinates. Replace that with this. Okay. Ayan. Yung technique ko. Isaselect ko hanggang dulo para masiguradong walang ibang sisingit, no? Next is yung element numbering. So, as a plate layout. Okay. It's the element numbering. And copy this. Then paste here. Replace koto with semicolon. So, ako na lang i-delete yung ano, sa MATLAB. Then, replace that 
with this latest numbering Yan. Ngayon sa dulo para make sure na walang umextra na. Then delete ko tong semicolon. To kasi mag-error 'yan pag hindi mo na delete. Kasi maghahanap si MATLAB ng another data, no? Okay. What else? Again, wala yan, ha? Huwag niyong alin. Hindi ko lang natin-delete. Yan. So, the mesh size, 0.125. Yes. Thickness, 0.1. Okay. Yan. Poisson ratio. Elasticity, the same. Okay. Yun lang. No? So, last is the restrained DOF nga. No? We'll update the restrained DOF. So, copy ko tong formula natin dito. Or kahit dito na lang siguro. And the general siguro. Tapos sa model, view, top view, shift in, para makita natin. Okay. And select natin to. Yan. So right click, copy, and paste. Then I'll get this control c paste values may tama naman no so nag-update na to okay next for the pin support ito siya select this alisin ko nga yung ano para hindi kayo mag Yan. Then, automatic na select dito. Copy. Paste. Then, paste values. Yan. Let's update. Okay. And last, yung rightmost pin support. Then, copy. Copy this and paste values. Okay. 97, 193. Capture naman, no? So I'll copy this muna. Paste here. Yeah. I-enter ko muna kasi may lalagay pa tayong bago eh, no? Then this one, copy that, paste. Okay, so okay na tayo sa restrained DOF. And finally, the nodes. Ah, the, 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 the load, no? The location of the loads. Okay, uh, ulit, ulit tayo dito. Let's locate where is the loads are applied. Uh, number 50. Saan yun? Ito. Ito. Sa 49. No? Ah, mali. So, uh, pansin nyo, dito, dito ko siya na malalaman. No? When I selected, ito. Yan yung node numbers. Okay, then, i-verify ko dito. Okay. So, uh, 49. So, this one. Yeah. Select that. So, copy na siya dito. Then, date here. Sorry. Yeah. Then, copy this. Paste values. So these are the corresponding degree of freedom, okay, for the loading. Okay, then minimize natin to. Then proceed here. Yeah, so let's update. Force 
4.69, Pares pala eh. <laughs> Wala na bago. Except yung value, no? It should be 2.5 and 5. Kasi nga, 40 kilo newton lang yung load natin. Yan lang naman. So, save. Okay. So, pwede na natin itong i-minimize. Um, then, run. Pero, i-clear ko muna, no? Para malinis yung yung memory ni MATLAB. Baka mag-overlap yung mga values. Okay. Then, run. Okay. And this is now the deformation. So the same naman, wala problem. So let's check the values. So having used the no, I'm um, place cursor to the job. Uh having used this stat model sa MATLAB, no, let's now proceed sa post processing although na check na natin to but we're now verifying the result using matlab or uh, uh, using the formulation of a thin plate bending uh, view isometric yeah okay now I'll check the displacement at 190. So or 157. Yeah, this node 157. No, this is MATLAB. Yeah. Displacements node what the, 157. Okay, so we're getting 2.8 millimeters. 2.8. So let's write that down here. 2.8 millimeters. Okay. Ah, so, nakita nyo na, no? Using a 64 element, 3.2. Tama. But when we used, ano, it's now 2.8. Okay? So, na, na overestimate, no? Na overestimate naman, no? Nung 64 elements. Ayun, nung nag-refine nag tayo ng mesh, yan, medyo nagko-converge na siya papunta dun sa sa exact. No? Sa sa beam. No? 2.8. Okay? Next. Uh, negative moment. Negative moment. Yan sa support. No? Ano tayo? Say, ano plate number ba? Let's curse it. And then, ano muna pala? Uh, ano, ano, ano Positive displacement muna pala. 0. 0.72, node 23. No, node 23. Okay, so, node 23. Displacements, node 23. And we're getting 0. 0.8 millimeters. Let's write that. Positive displacement, 0. 0.8 millimeters. Yeah. It's compared kay beam 0.7. Ito nyo, no? Na overestimate nga ng 64 element sa 0.9. No? Bumaba na, no? Nung nag-refine tayo ng mesh. 0.8. Yun, negative moment na, no? Tapos na tayo sa displacement. Negative moment, uh, punta nga tayo sa plate results. Ayan. So, all views naman. Uh, ito nga yung magenta. That's 144. Plate 144. Let's check. Plate 144. M star yan, no? 144. 
Yeah, so we're getting 9.29. So 9.29. Ready? How about Lama? One hundred twelve. Yung patabi. Let's check. One hundred twelve. Ano din? Nine point three. No. Okay. Yung nasa kabila. Eto to to. Yeah. So one thirteen. No. Kina natin si one thirteen. One thirteen. Yeah. Mas malit. No. Eight point zero six. So eight point zero six. Siyempre, yung magkatabi, no? i-ano natin yung i-double check. Ayan. So, this is the summary. Ayan. Using BIM, we're getting 8.54. No, nung nag-64 element tayo, 8.31. No? Itong 256 element, no? Where, ano, no? Nag yung meron tayong upper limit na 9.29, lower limit na 8.06. So, pag in-average mo yan, ano? Nasa 8.5 din, no? Or 8.6, siguro. Okay. Next is positive moment. Okay. Ito, ito, this one. So, let's choose, for example, 152. Plate 152. Fifteen point seven. Fifteen point seven. Fifteen point seven. Then double check naman natin katabi, no? For sensitivity analysis, one fifty three. No, yung katabi niya, one fifty three. Okay, one fifty three. Six point sixteen point three. Sixteen point three. Okay. Then ah. Looking at the summary, now in beam we're getting fifteen point seven, in sixty four element fourteen point forty two, two fifty six element, yeah, umangat no, fifteen nasa lower limit fifteen point seven, upper limit sixteen point three. So generally, umakyat yung moment, okay. Ah, and last one, positive moment sa support. Ito, this one. So, let's choose 97. Plate number 97. 4 .43. 4 .43. Okay. And looking at the summary, ayan siya. So, nakita natin that uh, we, well, no, may improvement. No? Although we're using a thin plate bending assumption, no, the, the most primitive no? <laughs> sa, sa rectangular, ano, rectangular element, no? nakita nyo that the result improves no? if you model the, the structure in a, in a, no, in a, in a, using a more element or basically using smaller mesh size no? as compared to just using uh, a larger mesh size okay although sa may kita nyo sa sa staad capture na niya halos yung ano no yung yung theoretical in terms of displacement no Ayan. pero sa moment may kita nyo may ano pa eh kulang pa din Okay. So that's it, no? So key take away, no? So definitely pag nag-FEM nag kayo kahit sa software, no? Uh, mag-aano talaga kayo, eh, no? Gagamit kayo ng different meshing, eh, no? 
just to check no kung nagko-converge sa ano sa 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 tamang result no kasi kapag nagano ka let's say to nga 64 element tapos nag nag finer mesh ka nagrefine ka ng meshing umakyat yung moment there's a possibility na kulang talaga yung 64 element na meshing no pag ganun okay now uh, as compared naman do sa you, gamit natin no you will see that uh since primitive nga yung element natin formulation it's just a thin plate no hindi niya nakaka-capture yung mga shearing deformation no but when you when you use a smaller mesh no you can still ano no you can almost get the same result no as compared to the to the theory okay okay so any questions po so na ano lang no makikita niyo na ganun din uh, also the ganun kabilis kay matlab although although we're using our own formulation no the the stiffness matrix that we derive no for the thin plate bending okay yeah. so with that uh if no more question then um sige pwede na pala tayong mag-exam muna okay sige bibigyan na lang muna ako ng ng deadline